Hey, Nergenic Nation, and welcome to History Of. I'm your host and resident superhero nerd, Aaron Waller, and this is the series where we do a deep dive into various comic book characters, both heroes and villains, and give a little bit more insight as to who they are and why they do what they do. And in today's video, we're talking about a Marvel villain that has some mystical powers thanks to a familiar foe from another dimension, and that's the Hood. The Hood was created by Brian K. Vaughn and Kyle Holtz, and first appeared in his own self-titled limited series, Hood, in 2002. Born Parker Robbins, he would see a fight between Daredevil and Electro as a young boy and become obsessed with the life of supervillains. Not long after that, his mother would start needing medical care and he would soon begin stealing to ensure that her care could continue and he eventually quit school altogether. Then once he gets a little bit older, his cousin would tell him of a warehouse full of valuables that would be easy to take and so they would break in and only to discover a seance of some kind and be attacked by a demon in a red cloak. Parker would shoot the figure and believe it to be dead and even take the cloak and its boots in order to not leave empty handed. He would then try on the boots on the way home, show his cousin and even try on the cloak and discover that they both had mystical abilities of their own. He would then try to start stealing diamonds that were being brought into the US, but he would be encountered and eventually defeat Constrictor, Jack-o-lantern and the Shocker who were all sent to guard the shipment. During their altercation, however, a police officer would be killed and then Parker would be wanted for his involvement in the officer's death. While trying to figure out how to get out of it, he was attacked by fake AIM agents who released the demon within Parker by accident. Though eventually Robbins would manage to con the cops into shooting who they believed to be the actual killer. The Hood would then eventually be transported along with other heroes and villains to Battle World during Secret Wars and even attend the hero Gravity's funeral after he sacrificed himself so that they could return home. Then while the heroes were distracted fighting one another during Civil War, the Hood assembles a group of super criminals to take over organized crime. He would work his way to the top, befriending some and eliminating others, and would eventually be ambushed and defeated by the new Avengers and an illusion army of heroes created by Doctor Strange. This would absolutely infuriate the Hood and he would attempt to take revenge by taking over the Sanctum Sanctorum after freeing some fellow villains from the supervillain prison, the Raft. And the villains would eventually get the upper hand, that is until Doctor Strange casts a paralyzing defensive spell to which Peter would then claim to a still unidentified Dormammu that he would know how to defeat Doctor Strange. During Secret Invasion, the Hood's organization that was disguised as S.H.I.E.L.D. were infiltrated by Skrulls and he would be able to identify a few in disguise and even be able to kill them. It would also be during this time that he would learn that his powers and abilities from the Cloak would come from Dormammu and thus even lead a group of villains into the fight against the Skrulls invasion in Central Park. Once the fighting was done, however, he and the other villains would return back to hiding. During Dark Reign, the Hood would meet several other villains and be offered solidarity and resources from Norman Osborn in exchange for their public support and cooperation. Osborn would task the Hood with keeping the New Avengers away from him and his team, and though they would fail, Osborn would give them another chance by tasking him with killing the Punisher. The Hood would then tap into his powers and resurrect a squad of villains that had been previously killed to help take down the Punisher. Also during this time, Dormammu would start to empower the Hood with enough power to kill Doctor Strange and become the new Sorcerer Supreme. Parker would even come across Strange as he was speaking to Wiccan one day, and Doctor Strange would try and convince him that Dormammu was only offering empty promises. Parker, however, would hear none of it and attack both Strange and Wiccan. The fight would end pretty quickly with Strange and Wiccan escaping, but Parker would return home and attempt to rip off the cloak in frustration, but found that he couldn't. Eventually, Brother Voodoo would become the new Sorcerer Supreme, and the Hood would be confronted and taken down by the Avengers. Then things would really start to get interesting for the Hood. While in prison on the raft, Robbins would befriend a fellow prisoner and human, Urzia, who told him about the Infinity Gem being kept hidden by Black Bolt. After escaping with the help of a bribed security guard, Parker would set out to find the Reality Gem which was hidden in the Himalayas, but his reasoning for wanting it was to be able to reach the same level of power that he once wielded. From there he would be teleported to another location of another gem, the Power Gem, which was secluded in the Baxter Building. Once he successfully escapes the Baxter Building, Parker was presented with yet another challenge of defeating the Red Hulk. And though he would be able to do so, that was a grave mistake as it very much caught the attention of the Avengers. The Hood would then visit Madame Moss with whom he had several past encounters with and used the reality gem to heal her scars and then went looking for the space gem which happened to be at Area 51. After yet another narrow escape from the Avengers, he would be teleported to another location near the time gem but it had already been recovered by the Avengers. He would then be confronted by Thor, Red Hulk, and Namor who were no match for the combined power of the Hood's three infinity gems. 
Parker would then get distracted for just a brief second by the appearance of Uatu the Watcher, which gave Red Hulk just enough opportunity to catch him off guard and claim the Power Gem. The fight would then be transported to New Mexico, where the Hood had dispatched the portion of the Avengers that tried to confront him in Area 51. But before they could regroup and attack the Hood once again, he flees to Xavier's School of Gifted Youngsters, where Professor X and another faction of the Avengers were trying to get past the defenses of the Danger Room in order to get the Mind Gem. Once Parker is able to acquire the Mind Gem, however, the gems subsequently transport him to the Astral Plane to find the Soul Gem, and once there, he gets encountered by Thanos. And though he's surprised to see the Mad Titan, it's actually just an illusion created by Doctor Strange to distract the Hood long enough to let the other Avengers catch up to him. It only semi-works as the Avengers do end up being able to claim two of the three gems in his possession, and then he ultimately loses them all and the Avengers get the upper hand to defeat him and return him to the Raft. The Hood would return back to his life of crime and attempt to become the Kingpin of Crime by creating his own supervillain team once again, but surprise surprise he was thwarted, but he did manage to evade imprisonment this time. Eventually, someone under the guise of Ronan begins assaulting the Hood's various bases and angers him. Once he discovers that Ronan has been Hawkeye all along, he reveals Ronan's identity to the press, setting a $3 million bounty on him for the villains he had gathered. Hawkeye, however, would rob the Hood's banks, getting the $3 million, and then even offered the villains the money that he had just stolen, confronting the Hood. Hawkeye wouldn't go down easy, but he would be defeated, and as the Hood tried to retrieve his money from Hawkeye's bag, he instead found a demon which Hawkeye had gotten after paying Count Nefaria the $3 million, and then the demon strips the Hood of his magic, takes a bite out of him, and leaves him with just an ordinary human once again. But he still somehow manages to try and find the courage to fight Hawkeye, but he just proves to be in vain as Hawkeye rushes him through a window, knocking him out and leaving the police to apprehend him. After losing his powers, however, Robbins would completely lose his mind and become desperate to get his powers back. He would even hold an injured Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson at gunpoint in a hospital and even force Black Cat to go get the hood back for him. She would agree on the condition that she could take MJ with her. Eventually, they are able to leave and once he comes to the conclusion that they're not going to come back and is about to shoot Peter, both women arrive just in time and present him with the cloak but with one big catch. It's not actually his cloak and it's a trick. And as soon as he puts it on, he finds it's actually the demon bag that initially ate his hood. And once it appeared, it consumed him whole, having gotten a taste of him from that single bite earlier. Now the hood has made very few appearances outside of comics, such as in various Marvel mobile games, and even a single animated appearance in the animated Marvel Future Avengers. But now it seems he's going to be getting his live action debut in the Riri Williams led Ironheart series, where he'll be played by Hamilton star Anthony Ramos. Now I haven't spoken too much about powers and abilities, but the Hood has some pretty interesting ones, including his boots that allow him to levitate and walk on air, and his cloak being powered from Dormammu that can give him magical abilities as well as make him invisible. He also is able to possess the Infinity Gems at one point and wield them temporarily, and even obviously ruled quite the extensive gang as his crime syndicate contained over 100 members at one point. And now for my favorite segment here on History of the Recommended Reading, where I get to give you a list of various comic books where you can go and learn even more about the Hood as well as see him in action. First up we have Hood from 2002. This is the origin story and as I like to say always a great place to start and it's absolutely ideal especially if you want to learn more about him right before watching Ironheart. Up next we have New Avengers number 33 to 37. This is where the Hood takes his full ascent into the life of crime and really starts to climb the ranks in order to make a name for himself. Next up, I would recommend Avengers Volume 4, issues number 7 to 12. This is the arc where the Hood wields the Infinity Gems and takes on the Avengers, and it's actually pretty sweet, especially if you're a fan of the MCU and the Infinity Saga. I don't know if it'll play out later down the line, but it's an interesting story. And finally, I would recommend checking out Hawkeye Freefall. It's a great story of a crime boss level Hood who goes against a more grounded hero and loses it all. It's a lot more in the vein of something like a Kingpin vs Daredevil or even Kingpin vs Spider-Man. Uh, rather than having something overly fantastic, but I still recommend reading it. So those are some of the major things you need to know about the hood. Was there anything in this video you may not have known otherwise? Let me know down in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, be sure to leave me a comment letting me know any other characters you would like to see on this series. Your suggestion just might become next week's video. And also while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification. That way you don't miss out on any videos from me or the rest of the Nergenic team. And also be sure to follow us across all social media platforms at Nergenic. That way you don't miss out on any special news, announcements, or articles articles at Nergenic.com. But in the meantime, if you want even more video content from us, be sure to check out these videos on screen, like my History Of playlist that gets a new character every single Saturday, or for more Marvel content, check out this playlist right
right over here. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We hope to see you in the next video.